Yeah, I didn't think we would see much in the stock price either way, no matter what they said. So what they said seemed fabulous to me. All those people that are hoping for a $150 stock price at Walmart certainly heard what they wanted to hear. What I really like about it is the new businesses seem to be doing great, like FBW and Connect and Data Services. And their base business is very well run today compared to what anybody would hope in this kind of an environment. They're doing all the right things. They're competing really effectively with Amazon. They're fighting the battle on inflation every day, and the customer's telling them every day, we like what you're doing. So boy, I don't think it gets much better than this if you're Walmart, but I still think during 2022, we're gonna all be facing into some pretty substantial inflation here. I think Walmart will handle that and the supply chain best, but it can't be easy for anybody. Meaning you think corporate profits, or co corporate profit margins are going to get eroded? Well, eventually the customer has to say, I can't keep taking price. Up until yesterday, they've just said, fine, put it on the shelf. I'll buy it at whatever price that's out there. And even if it's not exactly the right thing, I'll buy it anyway. And they've been saying that all last year, and now they're saying it right into this year. How long can that go on is the question. And if inflation tops out here at 7, 7.5, 8% and starts down, okay, everything's just fine. But if inflation moves on to 11 or peaks out more like nine and stays there all year, we have a really big problem in the retail side because that's when the customer finally starts saying, I just can't do this anymore. I'm personally very optimistic on 2022 because I think we will see inflation slow. I think, in, I think we'll continue to see growth in jobs. I think we'll continue to see growth in the willingness to come back to work. We could get to maybe 63% on participation. If that happened or we could get down to two and a half or 2.9 percent or something like that on unemployment if we don't see growth in the workforce. Those things will all keep the party going and the customer wants to be at the party. They want to mm -hmm. buy experiences come in, in the back half and they'll continue to buy apparel, accessories, shoes, jewelry, all of that. So Walmart, on the other hand, will be still the winner, whatever happens, because they're managing all of these problems better than the rest of the retail world. Jan, the big question is the one you, you just illustrated, this idea of is, is inflation peaking here? Is it going to come back down or will we hit higher, higher levels? And when you speak on this, I listen because of your decades in the retail industry. Um, what makes you think? What are you seeing right now in the supply chain? What are you seeing in terms of expectations, pricing expectations, wage gain uh, expectations that makes you think that we are peaking at this point and it's not going to get worse? Well, the supply chain problem is unwinding. At least we don't have 131 boats out on the water anymore. Now we're more in the 86 range or something like that. Yeah, the rest so that's really getting the better, horizon. and it's going to continue to get better in the first half. So I think that's a big, big deal for inflation. That's the too few goods for the too much money chasing it. Now, the too much money chasing it's going to slow down here, too, because the government support is slowing down this year. It's melting down to $660 billion, down from what, well over $2 billion. Bucks. So we're going to see less money pushed forward. And if the Fed does what they're supposed to do, if we all listen to Bullard, if they do what he said the other day on your show, I think we'll see this gradual catch up and the inflation will gradually come back down. But I played this game before in the 1970s and 80s, you know. I watched all this happen. And until the Fed finally put their foot on the brake, we couldn't get inflation to slow down. This time, some of it's going to naturally slow down because of the supply chain issues. Mm -hmm. But the other piece is the money supply, and the Fed's going to have to deal with that one. Jan, thank you. Um, great talking to you today. You too.